Welcome to the next step in the summertime series. It's Todd. And the next stop is Globe Life Field in 2022. We're going to try the best food for you. We're going to try alligator for you. And we're also going to show you where all the where the new speakeasy is and where the cheapest beer in the stadium is and a couple other hidden gems so you can enjoy where to sit, eat, and drink at Globe Life Field. It's all starting right now. Just to get a general feel of the Texas Live area and the resort area behind it, um, this pool is only available, obviously, to people staying at the hotel. But back there at uh, Texas Live, inside the arena here, the Live Arena, there is a lot of bars and food court on two levels, um, and a really and a giant TV screens and a giant jumbo trying to really keep the atmosphere lively and going. Um, outside as well, the beer garden is a great place to get a drink and enjoy a great view of at t Stadium as you go to an event there or here at Globe Life Field. That's Texas. To enter and exit the building here on the upper deck and not have to go down the stairs. Currently, the grounds and group coffee stand is closed to staff only. But again, another giant area with great space. And maybe eventually, the break room will be a coffee room area for all fans and not just staff. This is a good way to get to the upper level. And again, the Rangers executive offices. Hustling, one worker, or two registers, would be 
great job. There's another view of the map area, or sitting area, where the Rangers office is. One great thing about Globe Life Field is a lot of people now love hard liquor and margaritas and things like that in baseball leagues. The Rangers have their own uh, cool type of margarita. As you see, the Gold Team Fried Food, the Gold Team Chicken Tenders Fries, the brisket egg rolls are there. Yeah, got to give a huge shout out to the Barrel Level Baseball Sessions crew, absolutely awesome. But it is also the home of the famous Gold Beers Chicken Fried Biscuit. We went out to get a corn dog. This is six, seventeen dollars after taxes. Again, load it up with fries, which you can. A really good fries, quite big hot. Unlike anything you normally get at a sporting event. So great job, Joe. As you enter Globe Life, you'll know that there are weatherproof doors, which is very nice. We're actually here uh, at a, in a June day, which means the game time temperature is about 90 degrees. And since it's a day game. There will absolutely be the roof closed, and we're also here because the Rangers do at these happy hour 3 p.m. at May starts actually do a, a happy hour pricing at the Carebrook Pool beer area. So if you like to drink, drink, or if you like batting practice, you can do that too. So if the craft beer lovers don't want to go to the Carebrook Porch, I would highly recommend Craft Toss. Why? They have all the same beers. Box sky coach has more ice cream, hot dogs, more superheroes, and of course the full grill, which features everyone's favorite alligator sausage and other items. Golden Chick at the park is a pretty big deal. Another stand is a lower concourse uh, here at Globe Life Field. Definitely does it well um, with uh, the Texas flavors. Gold Chick is a local chain. You can pretty much find at most local Texas uh, sporting venues. And one that I would love to have for a good fried chicken sandwich. Now you're here in the main concourse with local Texas favorite corpus. But I want to draw attention stick is right here, it's right there. The line is also right there. You can take down a broomstick. You have to like that center field bench earlier. I would say this one here on the main level is probably the best in the stadium. This is a deep climb here. I see everything up there. Close to the field. Awesome view. One thing I wanted to all let you know, we were talking about Texas Lab earlier. There are actually Re-entries, which is a very rare exception for a big sporting event. So you can actually go outside and enjoy the Texas Life Complex and then come back into the stadium uh, by scanning in and out and more. Uh, the surrounding area as fans file in for a major concert tonight at AT&T Stadium. You can see uh, one of the premier and actual uh, player lots here in Globe Life Field. Outdoor sitting area, and then again, just wanted to highlight uh, more of the trail um, that's very nice that does go along the outskirts of AT&T Stadium. One thing to explain really quick um, is the track of the roof. Most retractable roof stadiums, no two are alike. And Globe Life Field will have to fall um, in that realm. Believe it or not, this roof when it opens and closes goes along this track. They actually need an employee up there to make sure the roof does, in fact, stay on track. It will open and close really, really quickly, but you do actually need someone to go up onto the platform to make sure the operation goes smoothly again. Much like the building across the way, its roof um, that also requires people um, to make sure these modern marbles um, are complex. So, just an appreciation again. Great civil engineer. Thing to also point out, even more valuable, such as Wednesdays, when the dogs are a dollar, and Sundays, when not only the kids run the bases, but ice cream is a dollar. So, to recap, you have Friday and Saturdays for the adults, a $4 for care about brewing craft beer. Wednesdays, you have a $1 hot dog stare at times, and Sunday, you got the $1 ice cream. 
We are still on the upper concourse here at Full Old Life Field. The field is just right over there. Down on the first base line right field. More tables, no chairs. But down there is Chuck Monero Park. And this time of year in Texas, it's very green, very nice. I will let you know, if you come here, maybe even in October, all these trees will be dead. The grass will be brown and it won't be nearly as nice as it is now. There is a small hiking trail for a couple of miles that actually runs around here all the way down around AT&T Stadium. It's a very nice shaded hike that I would highly recommend if you're an outdoor enthusiast. You do before you come to the game here at Goldbright Field or even AT&T Stadium. This time of year, it's great because the trees are green. Um, they bring that bug spray. Just again, that's Chuck Leonard Park. Right along the creek here, the hike will start right there, wind in and around the whole Texas Live Complex, and go all around AT&T Stadium. It's a very cool pre-game ritual that I like to do every time I come here in North Texas. And the leadoff hitter, Aaron Judge, with his 21st home run of the season. So the first item on the menu is the famous brisket egg roll. This and the alligator corn dog are the most popular items uh, of the season. One thing, it looks like they loaded it up with fries. This was $11. They loaded it up with fries, possibly, you know, middle end of a long home stand. They are probably running low on the egg rolls and brisket. Um, so, but all in all, this is probably good and it's all I need for $11. Not bad, it will fill me up. Um, but the brisket egg rolls, you only get two of them, but they load you up with these really fresh and good fries. Um, I'm just assuming it's the end of a long home stand and they're running low, so they just decided to go two brisket egg rolls and uh, fries. And the Texas Rangers Baseball Foundation. Since 2018, Energy Transfer has donated more than $1 million to the Texas Rangers Baseball Foundation in support of youth baseball programs, nutrition programs, tutoring, and supplies. Here is the brand new football, which fans are still finding their way for. This used to be the all-you-can-eat section, but most fans still don't know that it's actually a food hall, a craft beer, a craft cocktail bar um, available to all. We'll take a look in a second, but it's a very, very cool place. It's a buffet-style seating and a club experience that anyone can have. So again, we're talking about the value of the stadium. You can sit down, a full buffet style meal, view the game from your own private table, and cherish the view of the field for really any price. The Rangers are doing anything, everything they can to get fans to come to the games. We'll see how it plays out over time. Again, fans, it does not stop. There are more premium, speakeasy style seating areas that any fan can go to. Again, this speakeasy bar that is on the upper deck, where you pay $9 or $900, you can come in and enjoy. Right adjacent to the 421 Food Hall with its buffet style food and full bar with local craft beers. Again, extremely cool that the Rangers right now are making all these areas available to all fans, whether you pay $9 or $9. The reason why you see this line are brisket egg rolls, which along with the alligator sauce are extremely popular here at Gold Dog Flowers New Food Items. One thing most fans might not know is uh, these are the Texas Rangers offices, which if you do come on a day game, it'll be quite interesting. You can look in the windows and see that there's an actual workspace. People actually doing their day-to-day -day work while the game's going on. 
since the ballpark in Arlington, the Rangers have moved down and moved in here. Office space that the stadium was famous for has been uh, taken over by Six Flags and a couple other uh, local companies. here at Gold Life Field, tables and chairs overlooking the field. A lot of people don't come up here because of the hike to get up here. Even if elevators are amazing to get up here. Fans seeking a ladies for every Rangers game. Tables and chairs overlooking the field. This is another hack you can do here at Gold Life Field.
people can get their drinks as quick as possible. Obviously earlier, there was a lot of it's easy, but even now, only 20 minutes before game time, these lines are moving quick and they have ample serving stations to make sure fans can get the great deal. Shout out Rangers and Delaware North for the hook. Pre-game overview. Now this game is on a Saturday at 3 o'clock game. One thing about uh, this day in June 2022, it's actually under, um, it's only about 90 degrees here in Texas and the humidity is fine, which um, for summertime by Texas standards is about as good as it gets the day here. So a lot of people are out enjoying the lake, um, enjoying the local hiking trails, which they usually can't do in the summertime. But the Rangers and Mariners, both around 500. Um, I'm always partial to indoor ballparks as it's much easier to bring small children and handicapped people and elderly people into a climate controlled environment um, like Old Black Field. You see the natural light here too. One uh, nice thing about this park in which honestly today um, they could have the roof open and people be comfortable. The majority of the seats are shaded and there are plenty of climate controlled bars and indoor areas since this stadium is pretty well built to be open, uh, the roof to be open if it's under 100 degrees um, and the sun is, uh, is gone, but no one's complaining here. Here at the beautiful Kerbuff Sky Coach, the beers are only $4 each for local craft pints booze. As you can see, there's still plenty of room. Now these seats, these rocking chairs are reserved. The tables back here in the area in the back and upstairs are not. You can't beat this deal for four dollar draft craft beer at a baseball stadium. And you can still admire the view of the back of the Great deal by the Rangers. It's on Fridays and Saturdays. A lot of the Saturday games will start at 305 to to better accommodate this. Four dollar beers in the first pitch and our front gates open the first pitch. Is it Friday and Saturday game? Happy hour? Is it the Carabox Sky Porch? And it's still not something that's really marketed. So you can see up here that this area before games is free for anyone to come have. There's bags, games, and a great view of the field during BP. But downstairs is where the real fun is the Carabox Bar. Of course, Carabox is a local craft brewer here in Texas. Tons of beers on tap, tons of food. Been a great time. As you can see, the happy hour is uh, on the top part of Globe Life Field. is one of the more fun uh, areas that I've ever seen in the stadium. We have the very cool th uh, throwback and tribute to uh, the old ballpark in Arlington Choctaw Stadium. A really cool standing platform that not a lot of fans know about that oversees old field. And of course, an indoor kids play area that makes this a really nice, comfortable place. The temperature here in these hot, humid Texas summertime sun it's always 73 degrees the roof isn't always closed just because it's a warm day this ballpark was built with a turf field that would allow the rangers to actually keep the roof closed and the building cool all day and then open it for night games we also have the texas lab down below um, there's really nice windows and patios here uh, below the main entrance in a really cool atmosphere this area um, that you can look down upon and we'll definitely surely come back welcome uh, to globe life field and the surrounding texas live complex that includes texas live several hotels choctaw stadium the old ranger stadium dallas cowboys at&t stadium just on the other side and of course the brand new globe life field we're here today actually at the comerica bank entrance which is just off to the left of the very famous and notable Texas Live entrance. There are th three dis four distinct entries here at Globe Life. They all have their own distinct statues, local Texas baseball heroes and Rangers heroes. If you're here on a ballpark trip, definitely something to check out. But if you're here for one time, the Texas Live entrance is not to be missed as it's resort style bars and indoor style, indoor outdoor bars are really some of the coolest things going. 
at any kind of rural sports stadium here in Arlington, Texas.